Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you my February favourites for 2011 and I know it's quite late into March now but I figured it was better late than never so I'll just get straight into it. Um, I've only got four things this month so I'll try and make this super short which I always say and they never are but anyway I really will try this time. Um, so the first thing is a lipstick which is a Chanel lipstick um, and it's part of the Rouge Coco collection. It came out in their fall collection last year um, and it's number 35 and the name is Chintz and I don't know if this is going to focus or not but we'll see. But anyway it's a really really nice peach sort of pink colour and as you can see I've worn it a fair bit. Um, I sort of forgot about this for a while and then when I just saw it sitting in my collection I um, I remembered how much I liked it and it's it's really good with um, neutral eyes because it sort of can pop if you sort of leave it on its own with nothing sort of too out there for it to compete with or it'll certainly sort of look more neutral if you have sort of a darker or more um, more colourful eye sort of can work with either and that's why I really like it and it's um, really good for work so I've been wearing this quite a lot or I was wearing this quite a lot in February and I'm wearing it a lot in March as well. Um, the second thing is an eyeshadow which I think I probably included in a haul video when I got it originally. Um, it's from Rouge Bunny Rouge. Um, it's part of their long lasting duo eyeshadow um, collection and if I can open it I'll show it to you. Um, so they're both kind of frosted, but they don't come out frosted on the eye. They're actually um, quite sheer when you put them on. The the lighter shade is um, very good just to sort of even out the eye. Um, I suppose that the eyelid and get rid of any sort of um, discoloration and I the dark colour is just perfect to put in the crease. And I find when I first got it I sort of thought, oh this is really sheer, I don't know how good this will be. but um, once I started to use it, I realised it was really, really good for work and a really good sort of just go to when you know you want to look made up but not too made up. So um, I've really been loving it in the last couple of months. Um, the third thing is something that I actually broke Project Ten Pan to buy. I was having um, severe nail polish envy. Uh, someone at work had a really nice colour from Illamasqua. Um, and I didn't, I couldn't see the actual colour at Illamasqua, so I went to the Essie um, shelf, I guess, at Maya, and I found this one, which is a pretty close dupe, and it is called Cute as a Button, and it's just a really sort of bright, corally, pinky peach colour. I've actually got it on my nails at the moment. Um, I haven't put it on my toenails, but I think it's a really good toenail colour as well, and I'll probably do that this afternoon. Um... Yeah, I just really wanted a bright colour and I don't really have any other bright sort of pinks in my collection so I felt like I needed it in my life so I got it and I love it and I don't regret breaking Project Ten Pan for it. And the last thing um, was in a haul not very long ago at all. Um, it's actually the um, concealing palette from Makeup Forever which I bought from Sephora. I got it in number one which... Um, it's sort of got the lightest colours here and then it has the peach corrector and the green corrector and I think the other numbers have different coloured correctors in it. Um, originally I was sort of mainly buying it for the um, the skin toned colours but I've actually been using more or less just these two <laughs> now. Um, I always knew that green sort of corrected any redness, but I didn't actually know that the peach was a good colour for correcting under eye circles. Um, so I've been using that almost religiously every single day underneath my regular um, eye concealer. So that's been really, really good. And so I'm really glad that I got this now. Um, sorry if you can hear that outside. I don't know what people are doing. It's actually a public holiday. In Victoria today so everyone's out and about and making loud noises with some kind of machinery I don't know but anyway those are my um, February favorites so um, hopefully won't be too long until I get to share my March favorites with you but anyway I'll talk to you again soon cheers bye